My name is Scott Judson. I've developed a visualization tool to explore multivariate time series data. Multivariate time series data has multiple attributes that influence the dependent variables and typically has both cyclical patterns over different time intervals as well as trends over time. Visualization uses data from the Capital Bike Share system. Capital Bike Share operates a bike sharing system in Washington, D.C. and the surrounding suburbs. Capital Bike Share collects data for each trip that a user makes in the system. The University of California Irvine Machine Learning Repository has a summary data set for 2011 and 2012. The data set includes the registered, casual, and total users for each hour of the two-year period. In addition to the date and time stamp, weather data, including temperature, humidity, and wind speed, as well as the weather situation, is recorded. Several derived parameters, including season, working day, day of week, holiday, and apparent temperature are also recorded. The visualization was used to answer four questions. Which attributes influence the number of users? Do these attributes influence casual and registered users in the same or different ways? How much growth occurred between 2011 and 2012? And where did growth come from, casual or registered users? The visualization was designed to answer these four questions. The effective time of day on the number of users was evaluated using radial time series plots. This plot shows the hour of day as the angle and the number of users as the radius. Separate plots were used for registered and casual users. These plots show that the registered and casual users use the bike share system in very different ways. The effect of weather on the number of users was evaluated using scatter plots, where the number of users were plotted against the temperature, humidity, and wind speed. In addition, a filter is used that allows us to display only the data for a particular set of weather conditions. To understand the impact of day type, weekday and weekend filters were created. To compare how attributes influence casual and registered users differently, the radial time series and scatter plots for the registered and casual users were placed next to each other, allowing us to directly compare the patterns in the scatter plots and in the radial time series data. To evaluate how growth in the number of users changed between 2011 and 2012, we used a rectilinear time series chart, which shows the general trend as well as seasonal differences. To get a different view, we included a filter that allows us to remove the data from one year at a time. We also included a brush that filters the amount of data shown in the radial time series and scatter plots. The brush also allows the user to pan through the data, showing the user how time of day patterns and the influence of weather changed over the course of the two years. Thanks for watching my video, and I hope you like the visualization.